But folks, what I want to take away from this is this. Sometimes our will is not God's will. We are all praying, Lord, end this virus right now. And I think we should pray that. But along with that, and I think even more importantly than saying, Lord, end this virus now, we don't have control for, over that, and we could be waiting longer than we want to. But what is something that God can answer today, right now? We can say, Lord, what lessons are you trying to teach me? And they're going to be different for everybody. What are the lessons you are trying to teach me because of this crisis? How do you want me to grow? How do you want me to change? How do you want me to minister to others during this difficult time? Folks, those are the kind of prayers God can begin to answer right away. Because rather than being worried and bringing our, all our cares to the Lord and just dumping them there, we go beyond just casting our cares on the Lord and we begin to make requests with thanksgiving. It's two-part. We can't just go and complain to the Lord, and the Lord wants to hear our complaints. You bring those things to the Lord. You bring your, your trials and, and, and your, your burdens to the Lord. But then ask Him to replace those things with a new focus, new priorities, new lessons. Don't get off your knees empty-handed. Cast your burdens on the Lord. And notice what the Lord says when we pray this way. Verse 7 says, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. When we come to the Lord with true faith, and we don't come to him with demands, Lord, you must do this, and you must change this, and you must... No, we say, Lord, this is my will. I would like you to do this, but Lord, change me. Help me to accomplish your will, not mine. When we come that, that way, we cast our cares on the Lord. The Lord then gives us peace that we could never conjure up. He gives us peace that passes understanding. When Captain Gerald Coffey got in his cell, he said the very first thing that he saw on entrance into that cell was a little formula scratched into the cement wall. And it said, God equals strength. And he said, you know what? That encouraged him. He remembered he was not alone. And as long as he remembered that, that his hope was in God, he had strength and he had peace. That gave him strength as he was being tortured regularly because he was a captain. He was tortured often, sometimes daily. But he could get through it knowing that God was with him and God gave him peace in the midst of circumstances that, for a time, only seemed to get worse by the day.